Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you guys the quotient rule and then we'll also apply it in order to find the derivative of the tangent of x. So let's start. Uh, well, if we have a quotient like, um, let's say, f of x divided over g of x and we want to produce its derivative, well, of course, we, in, as usual, apply the first principle or the x method or whatever you want. But uh, in mathematics, we always try to um, combine things we developed previously with the new. So actually, everything which is new in, uh, in the eye of the mathematician um, should be somehow connected to the previous um, endeavors that we had. If that's the case, then it's not new anymore. So let us see how can we approach it here. We're just writing f of x times 1 divided over uh, g of x. And now we have a product. Well, we know the product rule. I'll link it here again if you wish. We have the derivative of the first times the second un unchanged plus the first unchanged times the derivative of the second expression. If you see, the second expression is actually g to the power of minus 1, applying the power rules, and now prime of that. So we have just f prime of x times 1 divided over g of x. But what about g to the power of minus 1 of x and its prime? Well, first of all, there is g of x, the inner function itself, and there is an outer function, the inverse of minus 1. So that means if we are considering g to the power of 1 of x to the power of minus 1 of x prime, then it's minus 1 times g to the power of minus 2 of x times the inner derivative g of x, which is the chain rule, which I also can connect right here. So we have this one. We can simplify. This is minus 1 divided over g squared of x times g prime of x. So we have minus g prime of x divided over g squared of x. And this is the result that we have right here. So f of x still times minus g prime of x divided over g squared of x. And what we're getting in total is f prime of x divided over g of x minus, we'll bring this minus in front, f of x times g prime of x divided over g squared of x. And you, as you can see, I left some space empty here because I would like to bring it to the same denominator, which is being done by multiplication times 1, which we are rewriting as g of x divided over g of x. And that gives us f prime of x times g of x minus f of x times g prime of x divided over g squared of x. And this is basically the quotient rule. So, it seems like the product rule, but there is a minus in between, and we also have to divide by the denominator squared. But that's it. So let us quickly do an example. What about f of x being equal to tangent of x? Which one, if you remember, is the sine of x divided over the cosine of x? What can we do here? Well, f prime is basically sine prime times cosine unchanged minus sine unchanged times the cosine prime divided over the cosine squared. All right, what do we have? Sine prime is the cosine. So we have cosine squared of x. And as you can see, cosine prime is the sine minus sine, actually. So we have minus minus is plus. So we have plus sine squared of x divided over the cosine squared of x. So now, we have two ways, like two most main ways how we can write it down. The first one is to say, well, cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. So we have 1 divided over cosine squared of x. This is possibility number 1. But there is also possibility number 2. We could split this fraction right here. We could write it as cosine squared of x divided over cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x divided over cosine squared of x, 
So as you can see, the first one is 1 plus. We can use the power rules and we can take the square outside of the parentheses. So we would be here. And that means we have 1 plus the tangent of x squared. This is a very useful form of the derivative as well, because we're going to apply it later on for the so-called derivatives of the inverse functions. And arcus tangent is the inverse function of the tang tangent, and we're going to work with that as well. All right? So that was the derivation of the quotient rule and an example of the tangent. I hope you guys could follow me, and thanks for watching. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.